Uh, first of all, uh, I'm just going to give my nerves because I'm a little bit wild tonight. Um, but um, uh, just, just obviously, um, it, just to give you this presentation of this year's project, kind of reminds me of when I had to give a, a presentation at school. And, uh, um, most of them going on for every five minutes. But anyway, um, I remember when I had to give a presentation at school of uh, uh, an end of year project, and I've made this uh, beautiful project on tigers. And on the cover, I've done a beautiful uh, uh, painting of a tiger, and uh, William Blake's poem accompanied this uh, cover. And uh, I remember just as before I was going to give this presentation, this bully got hold of it and uh, said, What on earth have you done this for? And uh, threw it in the puddle with a stamp on it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was <laughs> and, as, I looked, as I looked down, as I looked down, uh, as I gave this presentation and William Blake's uh, poems were kind of uh, slightly muddy, I, I realised that this was the life of the artist. You know, <laughs> But thankfully, there's no bullies here tonight, and uh, um, you know, uh, this has been a year project. I mean, the Revolver Shows was another year project, but uh, you know, really, the Revolver. A lot of people have asked us why we did this book, and um, really, the involved group had known what was involved. Of course, we had done it <laughs> because uh, we just had all this amazing imagery from the Revolver Shows, and we thought let's just put it in the book. And several people said to us, oh, you've got it in a mock-up format that you had it ready in a year. And I was like, well, what's the problem, you know? And it was only and now a year later that we realised how much hard work is involved in just putting a book together. But, you know, we really have to thank uh, Falmouth University for this to happen, because without them, we wouldn't have got the kind of professional kind of uh, touch, getting the ISBN number. But, I mean, me and Volga have gone out of our way to get a distributor and get all the sponsors on board, we've, we've, uh, we, we decided from the outset that we wouldn't get any public funding for this, basically because we couldn't go out another Arts Council form. But um, the Arts Council did help us with the shows last year, but we, we, we wanted to get a lot of people involved, and that's why we've got the 10 galleries uh, listed, uh, and they've all got featured in the book. But basically the book is a strange kind of book because um, Basically, Revolver was a show, a kind of unique event. We just thought we'd put on a show because this is such an amazing space. And uh, Richard Ballinger and uh, Volker have put on a show here four years ago. It was such a stunning space. And spaces like this can change the nature of art that's made here. So when we put the show on, suddenly we realised that this was too much of a good opportunity. So suddenly we just Revolver just took on a life of its own and became like this kind of monster that had to be fed. And so we had to keep bringing new artists to the altar and just, you know, um, <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and uh, that's why we've got 60 artists involved. And, and the video night was a, a perfect example. Uh, the night before the video night, I was saying to Volker, let's just scrap this because I can't take the pressure. Uh, but then, we, with just one phone call, we, had, we knew we had loads of great video, but we got this group called Flannel, it's a, a, a group of the graduates from Falmouth. They just came, they came with all the equipment, they came with 20 artists work, and we realised that video is alive, you know, it's like really happening down here. But we don't, people think Cornish art, video, they don't think. So that was an amazing night, and that kind of represented the spirit of Revolver, really, that we were unearthing all this stuff, and that's why just more and more artists got involved. And that the success of it, was down to the artists, that artists were willing to put so much energy into shows that lasted three or four days, which was ridiculous. But at the same time, it meant that work was coming in and out of the space, uh, and artists were sharing ideas, and artists would put an amazing show up. Some artists curated a, a whole show, people like Simon Jacks and Becky Kinson, they, all, they created shows, and then five days later it was down. So, the reason we thought we'd make this book is that we can immortalise their, you know, their, uh, uh, <laughs> their work. It does, it does give a picture and it breaks a few moulds, the video section, the young and hunt section, all the fantastic, uh, uh, really strong work that we've got in there. And um, 
So finally, we'd just like to really thank everyone that's been involved, especially as Robert uh, said, uh, the designers who were an absolute godsend. And if it wasn't for uh, that, uh, we had an uh, encounter with uh, Chris here who uh, introduced us to, to them, and without that, it wouldn't have happened. So uh, they've been uh, key to the whole project. And uh, obviously, as Bob said, I would really like to thank Bob because uh, as a team we worked really well and it couldn't happen without that dynamic. And uh, Bob went away for a week uh, about two weeks ago and I realised how much I needed him. I started sending emails that became unrandomly uh, uh, psychotic emails. <laughs> Because I was, I was sending out emails for a book that I hadn't seen, and I was saying I wondered what it was, and I was thinking if it comes back it's all blurred and dark, uh, I'm really just going to have to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, Tolka was on the Algarve, and uh, <laughs> it was raining here, so uh, at the same time, Volker, you know, Volker and John's partner, uh, Volker's partner John, um, they, you know, and they're all our friends and just so many people and I've just got one last point I'm going to say is that what distinguishes uh, people, a lot, a lot of people have talked about what is art in Cornwall and they say, you know, uh, there's a lot of debate about what, what constitutes art in Cornwall and I just think from looking at this book, there's a lot of work in it that can only be made in Cornwall it's got a very strong la landscape thing uh, it kind of permeates how we, we live our lives down here and the other thing about Cornwall is that there's a lot of individuals that come here because they want to, they want looking for an alternative. They, a lot of the friends I know in London are so fixated with trying to pick galleries. All they ever talk about is galleries, connections. Whereas people down here talk about sleeping on the beach or going surfing or you know going to a club or whatever. And there's a far more lust for life down here. And I think that's reflected in the light in the artwork that is, comes out of it. And you're finding that all these graduates, all these people are coming down to a university now where they're having a great, absolutely great lifestyle. And all the, all the graduates that are pitched in the have all gone on to great things. They're showing all over the place. But they've all got fondness for Cornwall and, and they keep coming back. So uh, the book is, 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 is more than a book. It's, it's, uh, it's been a whole project. And, uh, Finally, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone, and I'm just going to pass you over to Adam now, who's been a really key person in this whole uh, event. And uh, thank you to everyone. Cheers. Thank you very much.